What is up guys, welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and I got a lot of requests from you guys asking about that photographer named Sam Demeshek. So I checked them out and I really have to thank you because he's my favorite photographer. Thanks to you guys, I checked out his Instagram and I was blown away. His look is amazing. He does a lot of vintage pictures, a lot of film looks. Um, takes pictures on real film cameras and that's what I absolutely love right now So thanks for requesting and today I'm going to show you how to kind of recreate or come close to his Vintage film look vibe using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only now I've also created a preset for you a Sam Dimeshik inspired preset to give you those right Lightroom settings So I don't have to talk along to the whole tutorial It's on my website the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 80 presets a lot of Travis Scott presets Drake presets presets, Playboy Cardi presets, the Gunner Stahl preset, Jason Warr preset, and many, many more to just easily upgrade your Instagram pictures, your photography game. And also, if you have that preset pack, there will be new presets every week. So once you have the pack, you will be updated with presets on a weekly basis. So it's a pretty good deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. And if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. Now, if there's anything that you need from me, any request, any look that you want to figure out how to recreate, just DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm always open for conversation, or you can also always just comment under this video, and I'll try to reply as fast as I can. Now, I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you will need, of course, is your smartphone, and I want you to open up your picture in that free Lightroom app. Now in my case right here, I chose the picture of a guy named Niels. I found him on Instagram, um, scrolling through Sam's pictures. So he kind of hangs out with him, I guess. And I thought this was just a nice picture because it was taken in direct sunlight. And um, this is always a good way to create that vintage vibe. Take your pictures in direct sunlight. And then the first thing you want to do in the lights tab is go to curve on the upper right. And I want you to recreate this curve as it is right here. So on the bottom left, pull up the shadows a lot, almost until the end of that first quarter and then just smoothen it out to the right side and pull down the highlights on the upper right a little bit and um, just recreate this curve as it is right here and you should go from this as it was before to this right here as it is now just really blow out the the shadows here and then we are done and now the next thing we want to do is just boost the highlights a little bit to plus 26 right here and pull down the shadows to negative 20 one and boost up the whites again all the way to plus 40 41 right here and the blacks we're going to pull those down to negative 20 27 is good then we go over to the colors tab and here we want to pull down the temperature a little bit to negative eight and the tint we want to boost that up to plus four right here scroll down and now pull down the saturation all the way to negative 34 right there then we scroll up and hit the color mix on the upper right and for the red tones on the left we just want to boost the hue a little bit to plus 18 right here and pull down the saturation to negative 27 and leave the luminance as it is go over to the orange tones here we want to boost the hue to plus 9 and also boost the saturation all the way to plus 44 right here. And again, leave the luminance at zero. Now for the other colors, we don't want to change anything. So we're done here. And we go over to the effects tab right there. And now we just want to pull down the clarity a little bit to around negative 22, just to soften things out a little. And then the haze, we wanna boost that up to plus 20 to get that black crisp back in there and then of course we want to add grain all the way up to 35 in this case to really get that hard vintage effect now we scroll up and hit the split toning to get the colors right and here we just want to pull the highlights over to a hue of around 38 and a saturation of 37 is perfect and for the shadows we want to pull over to a hue of around 92 and a saturation of 20 is good so it's 93 23 that is perfect and we are done here and that's it guys this is my interpretation of the Sam Demeshik look especially that look of that one picture I showed you in the beginning 
and I think we come super close to that. Here's a little before and after. And you have to keep in mind that we're only using our smartphone and the free Lightroom app. So we're coming absolutely close to that real film look. And I've created a preset on exactly this Sam Dimeshek inspired look so you can easily paste to every one of your pictures. It's on my website, the link is under this video, and it's in that all presets pack. As I said in the beginning, over 80 presets for you to just easily paste to your pictures to give them different artistic vibes. So definitely make sure to check that out. And if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if there's anything that you need, anything I can take a look at for you next, just DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle. And um, you could also always just comment under this video if you don't want to text me on Instagram. That's totally fine. I'll try to reply as fast as I can. Now, I thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next tutorial. And of course, I hope you're safe and healthy. Peace.